Welcome to another Practical Physics walkthrough from Godman College Physics Department. Today we're going to be looking at the uh, Young's Modulus. And you're going to find the Young's Modulus of brass using a, a pretty precise technique. You're going to practice careful measurements. You need to have, have to work safely. And uh, also the analysis is excellent for uncertainties. Oops, no. As always, we've given you um, a very precise script, told you exactly what to do. And this is a really nice experiment for you to get going with because you've done the theory already. And also there's very little setting up to do. So please make sure that you do this discussion as thoroughly as you can and make sure you do full uncertainties and difference. You'll be able to find a value for uh, the, sorry, the Young's modulus of brass in a variety of sources online or in fact uh, Yard and Castle in the lab book. So, so in the top end of the lab we've got this arrangement here and connected to a bracket really high up in the ceiling are two wires and when you look at the two wires you can see that they've been uh, set up so that we have a sliding vernier scale set between them. There is a test mass just to keep one taut, another one's got a mass hanger and the basic gist is you're going to stick half kilo masses on, Oops, making sure it doesn't get twisted like that. You're going to make sure you've got half kilo masses on and you're going to do that between uh, one and the maximum load of three and a half kilos. And that's a total maximum load, including the mass hanger. So uh, in that respect, it's a very, very simple experiment. Obviously reading this vernier scale is possibly a bit tricky. It works in exactly the same way as the vernier calipers. I'm just going to try and make sure that I can the light right on this so that uh, we can get it looking nice. So if this was the starting point of the Vernier scale, because it, it's not going to start at zero, zero, uh, you can see that I've got, there we go, that my zero point is at uh, one point something, and the two elements that line up, I think, or it's actually the five on this scale. So I think it's that fifth one that lines up. So I can see that the starting point is um, is exactly 1.5. As it expands, you can see that, oops, as I move it down, let's say this was after the next one, I can now see that I've got three. And if I look at the ones that line up, I think it's 8 in that respect, so that would be 3.8. Uh, you may need to ask for help the first time you use this, but on Godomy Online there is a vernier caliper uh, practice uh, set up for you to have a play with. In addition to making those extension measurements, you're also going to have to measure the original length using this highly technical piece of kit that looks like a load of metre rulers stuck together and you're going to measure it to the top of the vernier caliper, not the vernier caliper, the vernier scale because that's where the extension is being measured to. Uh, we're going to just treat this as just being one measuring device so therefore uh, you wouldn't have to cope with the uncertainty of the rulers being strapped together. In addition to that, you also need to find out the diameter of the wire uh, using a micrometer. So just get a micrometer from the blue boxes in the corner of the lab and uh, use that to find, we've said the average value. Obviously you're going to measure it in several places in several orientations and it is important that you uh, are careful with that and that you get a correct reading. So it might be worth asking the teacher just to double check that that's a good uh, value that you've got for your diameter. I really hope that uh, that was useful. Uh, before you start this experiment, please make sure that you are wearing uh, 
safety goggles because if the wire did snap, it could hurt your eyes. And uh, enjoy this experiment.